Hello everybody, Yelso Farmer and welcome back to Comston Farm and to this mysterious trailer here. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened with it. It's been a couple of days since um, I played the game, but <laughs> when I came in the game today, this was, uh, first of all, it turned white and the capacity went down from 80,000 to 6,000. So I had to sell it, I had to buy myself a new one, and yeah, I don't know, I don't know what happened. Um, cows are doing good, good. I'm having an experiment on uh, this field here. Um, I've cut the grass, I think, twice or even three times. And I'm just uh, fertilizing it, and I'm gonna let it regrow, and yeah, maybe we can... Yeah, <laughs> it's nice and soft now, isn't it? Uh, I'm just gonna let it regrow and regrow, maybe, I don't know, five times maybe, and see how much grass we can actually get out of it. Um, so yeah, the main goal of this stage is of course to make uh, cereal. And I have a big problem. <laughs> well, it, well, it's more of a time problem uh, than a technical problem, and that's um, I one of the uh, ingredients in the cereal factory. I have to wait a long time on. So if we jump in here and we jump into the cereal factory, oh. I have most of the ingredients now. I have uh, honey. I have bought raisins that was allowed. I have oats from my silo, but corn is the big problem. And first of all, I have a couple of fields now which I prepared and are ready to be planted. But you know, we are running seasons and I cannot plant any corn uh, before six months. We are in October now, and the next planting season for corn is in April. So I have to wait six months. <laughs> but then I thought, well, we are in the harvesting season, and it might pop up some harvesting contracts for corn. But then <laughs> I checked the map here, and if we scroll down to corn, none of the fields have corn in them. So no other farmers have planted corn this year. So yeah, I have a problem. <laughs> what I have done, I have uh, taken on uh, another harvesting contract. Even though, yeah, after the game got an update, I'm not going to get that much bonus yield. Uh, but at least it's something to do, you know, while I'm waiting. Uh, and it's for this field here, field 13 which is in pretty good shape. It's got more or less everything. Uh, I've been there, so the yield bonus is 98%. So we might get something out of it. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, yeah, I got a lot of milk. So I've sold some milk. Uh, but this one, the remaining milk here, I'm going to deliver to the dairy. Uh, we're going to try to make something new. Uh, <laughs> well, new and new. It's new for me. Uh, let's see. Chocolate. I I did add, have some sugar from my sugar mill. So now I'm putting in uh, milk. And let's see. Did I put it on? Yeah, chocolate is on. And it's on storing. So we're going to make some uh, chocolate from that one. Uh, I'm going to sell all my cakes now. It's a pity, because it's a beautiful sight, but um, we are in October, and I've checked the prices, and yeah, today is actually, or this month is actually the best month for selling cakes. Oh, come on, camera collision. I've said it so many times, I really hope we get the camera collision on console pretty soon. Um, I found out that this uh, Outlaw trailer here actually does it best from behind. You know, backing in like this. 
Uh, what I'm also gonna do, most likely, is to sell my butter, because butter is also the best price now in October. What else, what else, what else do I have going on here? Uh, yeah, so this guy, I'm gonna drive down to field 13. Uh, with this 82,000 liter capacity trailer. And I'm gonna I'm gonna help out with this one on the contract. Let's see, I'm just gonna send him. Let's see, where are we here, buddy? There we go. Go to to the edge of field 13. Bam, like so. There we go. And then I'm gonna have to jump into these guys. And we need to start the harvesting contract. Oh yeah, uh, a really strange thing happened with my one of my grass fields, and it was not growing. <laughs> I don't know how and why, but uh, let's see. Let's get this right there. Boop. There we go. Uh, field number seven. This big field here, which I bought. Uh, it did have grass on it, so I mowed it and I fertilized it, but it didn't want to grow. So what I had to do uh, outside camera, I had to uh, plow it up and I had to lease myself a cedar. And now I put down another load with <laughs> grass in it. So hopefully now, oh no, now I'm doing this the wrong way again. Come on, buddy. There we go. Wide turn, wide turn. Yeah, we got it. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna, let's see, we need to do this. Half the contract. Uh, and yeah, I'm also thinking about changing map. Or not changing map, but adding another map to my portfolio and I'm probably gonna ask you guys uh, what you want to see and let's see where am I going now I can't see oh yeah uh, so I think it's gonna to stand between Frankenmut the new one which is called Maple something and yeah a third one yeah i need another map i've been playing on this map now for a long time uh, the last couple of weeks i haven't done that much playing actually um, so i'm you know when i get evenings like this where i can sit down and play for three four hours I'm just enjoying it, uh, you know, I'm watching you guys, well, some of you other YouTubers on my iPad while I'm driving around here, uh, Mr. Sealy P, watch some Farm Sim News by DJ Goham, and yeah, I really miss doing live streams, and I don't know when I'm going to do my next live stream, we are soon getting up to Easter holiday. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take my girls uh, for a cabin vacation for well at least half of the Easter holiday and yeah we'll see maybe after Easter holiday uh, we can do some live streaming again. So yeah, uh, so I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna rock and roll with this one. I might put in some time lapses, and yeah, we'll see uh, next time when I see you. Oh, I'm really, I, yeah, this corn thing. I have to wait. Whoa, that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, <laughs> what did happen there? Is my head all loose? Uh, oh! Okay. I'm gonna test this again. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, let's try to back up with this. What did happen here on the river? Is 
this is always interesting. Backing up with a trailer like this. It seems to be jumping off here. Ah, there we go. Alright, alright. I'm on field 13 and as you can see, it's a big field. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, this is gonna take a hot minute. But I'm gonna, I have good time now. I have 3-4 hours to play. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take at least, oh no! Um, <laughs> take it easy buddy, you have good time. I'm gonna take a couple of headline headlines, uh, I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos, and yeah, I'm gonna, ooh, there we go, let's unfold this bad boy, there we go, no more place for egg pallets, alright, 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 there we go. Let me just check the uh, yield status. Yeah, 98%. So it should be good. But it's a big field. <laughs> you know, I've played this, uh, this map now for, I don't know, let's see. How many hours? 150 something? No, 124. All right, all right. And I haven't even uh, owned my own harvester yet. Because, uh, you know, I've been a dairy and a contractor and a baker on this uh, challenge. So I haven't, I haven't actually bought myself a harvester. And looking at the sales, there are no harvesters. So yeah. Yeah, I'll see you in a hot minute. There we go, the harvesting contract is finished and what I actually did, I put the time scale frame thing on 0 0.5 and that was because uh, I suddenly realized that, uh, you know, rain was coming in. So, yeah, uh, a little bit cheaty there maybe, but that's just the way it is. Uh, so I have delivered one load with 80,000 liter. Uh, so now I have 80,000, no, 69,000 in this one. I have 24,000 in that one. And I have one more trailer over there with about 19,000. So the thing with the harvesting contract now on uh, FS22 after the game came out uh, was updated is that you have to deliver more. So looking at the contract it's 89% finished. So hopefully uh, with this 69,000 we could be finished. And I can get the, the rest of the soybeans I'm going to keep. 82% uh, transported, oh come on, 97% <sighs> Oh, so I delivered 80 plus 70, that's 150,000 And you, oh, you tip selling left, right, okay uh, uh, Now I need to pay attention here uh, Yeah, like I said also last episode, harvesting contract is not that lucrative uh, profitable anymore look at this come on there we go oh it's just a <laughs> zero liter <sighs> oh come on 
So that's 150, 170,000 liter. And the only bonus, well, is 18,500. So that's, uh, what, 10%? So what I'm going to do with this soybean, I'm not going to sell it. Because the price on soybeans now are really low. Uh, and that's another thing about these uh, seasonal fructations there. If you see on soybeans, the lowest price is $9.39 and the highest price is $2,100. So more than double the price you can get in June. Uh, but if you look at, for instance, uh, sugar beet or even sugar beet cut, you know, the difference in top price and bottom price, you know, it's not 100% difference there. Uh, neither on sugar beet, it's just like a $100 difference. So yeah, though it, some of these uh, products, the top price and bottom price are not, you know, it's not a big gap. On some, it's a really big gap. So you just have to pay attention actually. This one, milk, top price is 1,300 and bottom price is 1,100. So not a much difference on that one actually. Uh, so my money has gone up pretty much actually. While I was doing the uh, harvesting contract, uh, I sold more or less all my productions I sold all my cakes, I sold all my, whoa, 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 my butter, I'm going to keep my flour for the cake production, uh, what else, uh, chocolate is going, and uh, now I can complete the contract, I fertilized one of my fields, uh, there's no, you know, uh, the contracts now, this baling contract I'm not going to take because that field hasn't got any fertilizer in it. So then I can risk of having no extra silage. This plow plowing contract, yeah, not that interesting. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to put this into my silo, I'm going to keep it in my silo, and yeah, I'm going to skip ahead to November, I guess. Uh, let's see if we have something interesting in uh, November. So, we are here in November, and yeah, I've, I'm saying it again, I've said it before, the color scheme on this map is just amazing. My hats off to the map maker, that's for sure. Uh, during sunrise and sunsets in the autumn on this map, it's yeah, it's just beautiful. Uh, so yeah, we're getting into winter, and I decided not to do any logging this winter. Uh, but what's a little bit more uh, worrying is that uh, I'm soon ready, you know, running out of uh, hay for my cows and to, 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 I have also thought about doing uh, TMR uh, but I've done just hay now for what three years and they are still producing pretty good with milk so I think I'm gonna stick it to hay and uh, I think they're gonna need a little bit of uh, straw also. Let's see, this is like my morning chores, as they call it. Feed the animal, give them some bedding. Uh, you know, so they... But what I really need now is more hay. And yeah, I pulled out this guy. Let's see here. I think this is the third or fourth cut I'm doing here. But now I just need to, I need to uh, collect it, I need to, to get it rolling, I need to, I need to tether it, I need to bale it, and yeah, I need to give it to the cows. And as you can see, it's a big fat blanket with grass now. <laughs> 
I could of course. You know what? Oh yeah, yeah, that's another thing. I have another grass field. Yeah, this one there, I was just checking my chocolate. The chocolate is doing good. Good. I have this field here, of course, with grass. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna give this to the cows. And I'm gonna keep uh, keep experimenting with this field here. You know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it at least one more cut. I was watching uh, a guy on FS19. Oh, let's shut that. And I think he, uh, you know, he did a really <laughs> crazy experiment. I think he did a hundred cuts. You know, he let the grass regrow a hundred times. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that here. But yeah, let's say this is number four. Let's, uh, and it's, you know, it's getting ready to harvest in three days or is it four days? So we could do at least a couple, couple of more runs with it. The problem I'm going to get is the baler, of course. Well, I have the rake, uh, but yeah, the rake and the baler could get into some problems. But it's, it's you know, it's a really nice uh, and soft bedding for the cows now. <laughs> it's like a blanket of grass. Uh, contracts, well, uh, winter time and contracts, then it's usually cultivating. So I got two pretty big cultivating contracts. So I think I'm going to take both of them. I'm going to lease the equipment on this one. And I'm going to, no, I'm going to lease the equipment on both of them. And I'm going to use both of the machines on first on one field and then I'm going to move them to the other field because uh, that's, you know, as long as it's allowed. I'm <laughs> I like this kind of contract system. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea how long it's gonna be. Uh, hopefully, pretty soon, I'm just gonna pull out the poll on my YouTube page and ask you guys uh, what you want to see when regards to a second map on PlayStation 5, Frankenmuth, Maypole, or yeah, I need to find another one. I really like a challenge though. Uh, so I might jump into uh, Mr. Rusty Money Gaming's uh, Facebook page and have a look for some new challenges. I got a message from uh, Mr. Cobbler Farms. So he is uh, setting up a server with 16 people. Uh, a really realistic server. Well, a realistic gameplay, so to speak. Oh, I can't remember the map name. Was it this French one, Anjouvan? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna have a look at that maybe. So there is you. You just have to pay a small amount of money to to keep the server alive, so to speak. I've seen there's a lot of people now on PlayStation Five. Uh, renting themselves, um, you know, these public servers. Mr. CDP is doing it, and I've seen Driver53 is doing it, and now Cobbler Farms. So, yeah, go and check out Mr. Cobbler Farms, their buddies. He's a good guy. Cobbler Farms from Finland. But anyway, with that said, and with this blanket of grass, I'm going to thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.